Hi YouTube, it's Felicia with Bible Scraps and your fun Stamper's Journey coach. And boy, I have been itching to share these cards and tutorial with you guys. Take a look at my acetate crystal cards. Super fast, easy, and quick to make. I love the freshness of these cards. I love the simplicity of these cards. I love the clarity and the transparency of these cards because you have beauty on the outside and when you flip it open, beauty on the inside. These are my customer appreciation cards for all my Fun Stamper Journey customers for last month. So I have several cards to share. I tell you, the washi brings the acetate alive and vice versa. <laughs> and depending on how you layer your bling and your uh, glitter, that will determine the looks that you get. And then this one here. Now this one is different because I added an extra butterfly. So this one has dimension. So you can totally do that. And then check out this one. Now for some of mine, I used washi tape. I recently picked up at Tuesday morning. $2.99 for all of this washi tape. Alrighty, other products that I used. I am absolutely in love with our new collection, the Mystic Romats. So I'm using Dreams Follow stamp set. I also love the embroidered greetings. You get phrases for um, basically all year long type cards and creations. I am also using our Journey Glaze. And then I am using the envelope die set, my favorite envelope die of all time makes the perfect a2 size card or envelope rather which i am loving all things gold and so imagine a card like this in an envelope like this <laughs> the recipient will be sure to love and keep not only the card but she or he would want to hold on to the envelope as now, well. I would love to have you as a customer and shopping with me is easy. You could visit www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Bible scraps and that will take you directly to my shopping page. You could also visit the main site at the top of the screen in the coach finders tab type in my name Felicia hands with a Z and then you must click on my profile picture which is a picture of my Fun Stamper's Journey original shopping lot. Once you do that, you have entered my store. You could also click on the link in the description. If you should have any questions, any concerns, please email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com. So take your acetate and cut it down to the size of the card you would like. I am making a standard A2 size card. And before you score your acetate, go ahead and apply your washi tape. I'm gonna remove my background paper just for a second. I'm using this grid graph paper, which is great when you need to line up your cards. And this will help me apply my washi tape in a straight line. You probably can't see my acetate because it's transparent it's clear but I have straight perfect alignment of my washi tape and then flip your acetate over you don't want a tight fold of your washi tape so keep it loose at the edge because if you fold it too tight your acetate will curl Go ahead and apply your washi tape directly over the washi tape on the other side. Now this is totally optional because washi tape is transparent. You will, you can see the, um, the other side through the other side if that makes any sense. But I have a lot of washi tape. I don't mind adding 
tape on both sides. Okay, so now we have washi on both sides. Alrighty, so now it's time to stamp. Now, because acetate is not porous, you need special ink. And Stazon is perfect. It was created, formulated for stamping on acetate and glass and plastic. Ink up your stamp very well. And mind you, I have not scored. I've not folded my card yet. It's much easier, at least for me, to do this foundational work first. Acetate is transparent. It might be hard to see it. Make sure you are stamping on your acetate. You see, I've added my brown background. Before I proceed, let me share some card bases that I've made. It's a fresh, clean, simple look. You don't have to add much. I've added washi tape on both sides. It just brings the washi tape to life on this acetate. It's so pretty. Okay, so before we score and fold our card, I like to color mine and embellish mine This first. is where we get into different options. Okay, so I am going to use alcohol markers like I did, <clears throat> excuse me, for these two cards. And you can color your entire image or you can color parts and pieces of your image. I'm gonna flip my card over and color the backside because I want different levels of dimension. You probably can't tell, and you know what? I actually see it. It's hard to see acetate from my angle, but I used an alcohol marker to color, and then I erased it with a baby wipe, and then I used a gel pen, <laughs> but my gel pen didn't dry, so I erased that too. But I actually can see some of the color is still on my sheet. Take your alcohol marker and I'm just dotting in, filling in the dots on the edge. Nothing fancy. Now I'm going to color in the center part of the butterfly. And that's pretty much all the coloring I'm going to do. Now let me share this with you. I'll do a separate video and show a bunch of these when I make them. <laughs> I absolutely love this acetate beaded crystalled embellishment. <laughs> so we're going to use a similar uh, method to create the butterfly on this card. Though you can use any type of glaze that you have. I like our glaze because it dries clear. Now I'm trying to determine, okay, you know what? I'm not going to put a lot of thought into it. I'm going to go ahead and color or spread my glaze right on top of my card because you can put your glaze on the top or the bottom so spread your glaze over your entire image or you can do like I did I just accented the middle of the butterfly but I'm going for a total glaze coverage look Okay, so I have this one all glazed up. And you know what? I'm curious to see how this will dry just as is. And so I don't think I'm going to add my glitter or beads to this one. It is just so pretty. I absolutely love okay, it. Okay, so for this one, I just kind of jumped right into it and forgot to color the back. The great thing is when it dries, I can color the back. But for now, what I've done, I've added journey glaze just to certain parts of the wing because you don't have to fill in the whole image right I'm going to take my micro beads and apply them and they will stick directly to oh that's going to be pretty oh my goodness it's only going to stick where I have the glaze So my butterfly is dry. Remember, I hadn't added any glitter or beads to this one, but I did add glitter to the center and got glitter on certain parts of my butterfly. 
but it still turned out pretty. You could take a brush and brush off any excess residue on your card. Okay, so it's time to score this card. Take your scoring board, and I like to use a screwdriver. <laughs> I shared this maybe a couple years ago. It scores acetate nicely. So I want to score right down the middle. Now the only thing I didn't consider, oh my goodness, when scoring this, when you add your washi tape first, you might tear into your washi tape. When I made my these two cards, I folded my cards first. So you know what? May have to do that because Oh, I don't want to tear into my washi tape, but let's see. So you do that several times and fold. This is just so stinking pretty. I love it. Okay, so you can apply your washi tape first. You don't have to score where your washi tape is, but score the rest of the card. And I like to take one of these jumbo paper clips, use whatever you have, kind of hold it in place. You know, but I'll do that after. Now we need to add our sentiment, and I have already cut and stamped my sentiment. I love the embroidered greetings stamp set. And I use glue dots, the mini glue dots. And I'm gonna apply one on each side, and I'm applying my glue dot under the letter so it's not exposed. If I could pick it up. All right, there it goes. So you won't see the glue dot when you apply it to your card and simply just place it over. And we have an acetate crystal <laughs> blingy type card. Now I could have cut my acetate down too. And take a look how the inside looks so you have beauty on the outside and beauty on the inside all right you guys so here you have my acetate crystal cards I love the look of these they're pretty just the way they are you could keep it really simple um, or you can add dimension you can add another butterfly it's pretty on the outside beautiful on the inside and pretty on the back side right so every part of this card is absolutely gorgeous now some of you may be wondering well where do you write your greeting number one you don't have to have a greeting <laughs> you can send the card just as is because your greeting is here thank you or what you can do and I just found it I wasn't going to show this but I just found it on my desk you could make a flippy and add a acetate journaling spot on the inside. I stamped mine. So you can do that if you want to maintain the translucent look. Or what you could do is cut down a piece of paper and write a little note or stick in a note card inside your card or inside your envelope. You know, I think I'm gonna send mine just like this because I like the look, the feel, the style of these acetate crystal cards. So I have links to the products used in my description box, including the acetate. I love this acetate. It's a great quality. It's very affordable. I'll also have links to, of course, my Fun Stamper Journey stamp sets and the envelope die. If you have been inspired by my creativity, why not give me a thumbs up? Also subscribe if you have not done so. Feel free to adopt any of my ideas. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video. Once again, check the links in my description box for the products used to access my store and also for additional videos, additional car tutorials. Well, I wanna thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.